So I'm in Guyana right now, y'all. And a lot of people keep hitting me like, when you gonna come back? When, you know what I'm saying? And quite honestly, I really don't know when I'm gonna come back, but I'll be back. My kids gotta go to school, so I'll be back in time for that. But this just lead me to speak about like the whole idea of self-discovery and taking time away um, and just feeding your soul itself. This trip was not supposed to be this long. First of all, I was supposed to come to Guyana for six days to drop my kids off, actually. And then to go back to um, the States for the whole summer, have the summer for myself and um, come back and get them. But every time I come to Guyana, it just feels so freeing. Like, it just feels so like... When I was younger, I used to come to Guyana a lot. I actually stayed in Guyana for a year. Went to school and everything. So I just feel like... I have this connection to Guyana that helps my inner child heal, in a sense. Um, because I remember being young here and just loving everything about it. And then going back to the States and going through a lot of hardship as a teenager. Like, I went through so much once I went back home. So, I think as an adult knowing that like my biggest escape is Guyana but I didn't understand why I kept extending my stay for one I'm I'm partying a lot so yeah I'm I was going party in the states anyway so I might as well party for here and it's cheaper to party for here party down here at first I thought it was like okay like Asia you just want to be down here to party you just want to be down here um to be lit and then you're gonna go back but every time like it would be closest to my leaving date I would just have like panic attacks like I don't want to go back I don't want to go back and I really was able to understand today it's really about self-discovery for me it's really about like being here in my safe space where my soul sings and finding out what's next for me when I go back to um america and it just makes me realize like a lot of us really don't be depressed a lot of us just be spiritually drained and like spiritual spiritually needing a way to just replenish our soul and a lot of people don't have somewhere that they could go to to just rest their minds and just feel at one with the earth or feel at one with themselves a lot of people don't have that so a lot of times those emotions or how they feel um makes them feel like they're depressed and for me, being here is more so me finding out what's next on my path. Like, finding out when I go back home, like, what am I going to work on? What am I going to do? What am I going to change? What are some things that um, have been affecting me in ways um, that's detrimental to me? Why am I not happy at home? And it's like, people be seeing me and be like, Asia, you look so lit, Asia, you this, you that. And it's like, a lot of the times I go home lonely as fuck, feeling mad lonely, like not connected. And it's just like certain things I don't resonate with no more, certain things I don't connect with no more. And it's like, how am I gonna be here to find the solution for myself? Good afternoon, find a solution for myself. So when I go back home, I could just breeze instead of, feeling like going back home is a burden or feeling sad about going back home and wanting to be here because being here is really a beautiful escape like y'all gotta see what i be seeing like like this is the countryside so the countryside is way better because it's like the countryside is better than tongue but some days i could just come on the veranda sit down drink and just feel good and I don't know self-discovery to me is like also like putting a pause on looking for love like a lot of times we don't put a pause on looking for love a lot of times we just because for me i'm lonely because i'm like all right i'll go out i'll be lit i could be lit every day when i'm back home i could be super duper lit but when i go home i still feel lonely or when i'm out i still feel lonely and it's like i'm trying to find the answer to like what's really my happiness or what's next for me or like if you don't resonate with this anymore 
what are, what are you now going to do for yourself? So it's like, I'm really in a big transitional space of my life. And I just want people to know that when you're in these spaces, get away, go away, go away somewhere. Or if it's not going away, it's staying in your home, turning your phone off for a couple days or weeks and just figuring it out because our brains is always on go, go, go. We don't have time to figure out like, Go with the flow is real, yeah, but you still got to analyze the things that you're flowing with because you could flow yourself into detriment. You could flow yourself into unhappiness forever. Like, nah, like, it's sometimes you got to really sit with yourself. And it's like, this journey is really about self-discovery. It's like redefining myself, seeing what's next. I turned 30 this year, so that could be like, that could be also like maybe something else. I don't know. But I also I don't know when I'm coming back. I don't I guess when I'm feel like, alright, I'm tired of <laughs> being here or I'm tired of like I don't know. But I know I'ma come back refreshed. I just wanna feel refreshed. Like when they say you really got to take a break from your hometown or like when you leave your hometown, they, they'll they show you love at, at anywhere else. That shit is real because I'm like a Guyanese princess out here. They love me the fuck out here, okay? Like, they love me. And it's like, I get a lot of love in New York too, but it's not a lot of like authentic love. Like, New York is just full of like fake love. Like, like it's just so fake. But... Um, so when you experience the real, all you want is that real shit. And, and if you're a soul like me, if your soul is like me, all you thrive off of is authenticity. Like, I can't thrive off of nothing fake. And being around, and I feel like I'm an empath too, so because I'm empathic, like, all of them energies, it don't feel good with my body. It don't. Like, I really just be having to, like, get the fuck away. I'm one of those people, like, so... I just hope that I find a good solution for myself. Understand that you you really gotta restart. And it, it don't have to be like a physical restart, but you really have to put, press the restart button on your life a lot of times. When you feel like you're in a space where you just don't know, instead of sitting in that negativity and manifesting depression for yourself or manifesting or manifesting unhappiness for yourself because I was really unhappy. I was unhappy. And anywhere I tried to find happiness, it just, it never aligned. Like anytime I be like, okay, this is gonna make me happy, it never made me happy. But anytime I do this and be like, it made me happy, it never made me happy. But when I came here, I just felt like a joy, like a relief. So I'm just like afraid to lose the happiness that I'm feeling here. Um, and going home and just feeling the same way. So I think it's like an escape. But as time go by, I feel like I'm going to be able to stimulate myself and find the answers. So it works for me. So y'all, thank y'all for watching this rant. And I hope it helps any of y'all. And just know, bitch, I miss everybody. And just know, bitch, when I come back, we want to fuck up. Later.